Still time. Seton Hall with five minutes to go. They've proven they can score in bunches. Man to man now by the Hoyas. Never at seven of nine. And remember, one of the misses is that miss slam off of the rebound. Goss thought about it. Takes it with the right hand. Good move by Goss. That's a lead for Seton Hall. Long ball. Rebound knocked over. Here comes Harvey. A two on one break. Lead goes down inside. It's laid up and in by Goss. Talk about his absolutely unlimited ability. And he makes it a one point game. The Hall's lead cut to one. The uh, team had foul problems in the first half. No team fouls yet. Dawes launches and very nice. Really something. Now here's a steal by Goff. Just took it away. AJ Price. The first time after the transfer. Grant. Fight for the ball. Hazel knocks it away and going hard down the floor. Here's Gauze on the outside with all that quickness. Puts a move on. Drives to the basket. And Paul Gauze. Prudential Center, also home of the Jersey Devils, part of the rebirth of Newark. Gorgeous. I mean, just a breathtaking arena. If you're, if you're an NC State fan, you think of the uh, RBC Center, which is a nice building. I, I think, you know, very similar. Both have NHL hockey teams. Both have the pro and the college. Obviously, NC State has a, a bigger alumni base, bigger fan base. They fill up their arena better. I think this arena being newer and $375 million, a little bit nice. Come on over. Here now is an inbounds pass to Gauze. Well, that's a nice to the game than we saw in our last game. Both these teams like to get out in transition. Gauze is a steel machine. If you just a three, and now a chance for a tie or the lead for Seton Hall. You better get up on him. Pretty look. Good hands by Garcia. And he threw it to Gauze, and the Pirates take it by Baker. He had the inside rebounding position, but left his feet too soon. He's got to watch that dribble. They're going to call Harvey on it before this night is over. Gauze calling for the ball screen from Lang and gets it. Good defensive help, but they're going to call the block. Not as they did the first half. No, no, but they definitely give you the feeling that they can explode at any minute. They may make some lapses on defense, which punished them. They had a seven point you said there with Ross goes back door and gets the lob. Trot Smith has had an outstanding second half. And so is Sam and Omar has 10 of his 16 since the intermission. And he was up 13. Excuse me, they run some top building there on defense. You know, matched up in the back play today against the winners of the games between the 9 through 16 teams last night. And so how, you, you notice after timeouts, the well coached teams get something in the lane somehow. And that is a terrific lob. They lift it high, plenty of room, eliminate it at the back. On a rock who has 11, Gauze answers with a friendly carom. We're talking about him having the ability to score, and he, his coach felt that he, sometimes he looks to be fouled too much instead of looking to make shots. Well, the one thing they said they're going to work on with him is shot selection. This is Harvey, does not go inside. On the perimeter, Hazel. Back to Gauze. Lefty will shoot a three and hit it. I was talking to Bill Russell. He was telling me about a story uh, when he played an All-Star game. Him and Oscar were on the same team, and they were playing a, uh, a team from the West team with Luke Chamberlain and L. When he draws the defender in, if he up fakes and maybe takes one, two quick bounces, he can get the same results. They have a chance to get within one, and Gods will do it. Scramble for the loose ball, picked up by Davis. Bearcats get it back, and it's intercepted. Back the other way quickly. Comes Gauze up and under and got it. Well, that was a heads up play by Gauze there. He saw the game. He got the steal. Samuels picks up the loose change. Uh, Samara Samuels so strong underneath. He gets those big claws on it. You can bet it's a dunk. Harvey beats the press easily and gets it to Mitchell. Gauze throws up the three. 28th of the year for the South. How in the world did Hazel handle that? It wasn't exactly the way it was diagrammed. But he got it up and over the rim. And then Gauze showing why he leads the Big East in steals. Wow. It all started at the other end with T. Will getting the block shot. His 23rd of the season. 
That block was probably a four-point swing there, Mark. <laughs> Well, that's what Terrence Williams does for you. He changes the game with his athleticism and his anticipation. We played four, mi four minutes. We're tied at 12. Hazel. Right side, Gauze looking for a second three of the night. Plays catch now. There's Blair turn. Faces, double team. Gauze almost got a piece. They do get a piece. Numbers three on one. Gauze going all the way in. Lays it up. How about this? 39 36. Scores today. Two team fouls. See home none for Pittsburgh here in the second half. Three and a half in. Panthers have a seven point lead. Biggest lead. Gauze, a lefty going left. Thanks it off. Now explain to me how he made that shot so with the basketball and a bucket would give them the lead You see the game clock and the shot clock with seven seconds separating the two So the Bulls will have one more opportunity if Seton Hall should score They'll see it Gauz, that's a three Maybe two into three and get on a little roll and these Pirates have been rolling here in the second half as Goss hits from the left side. He's good to go. Zell with the rebound. Here comes the hole in the 14-14 game. Man to man now both ends of the floor by each club is Seton Hall really mixing up the zone and man. Mitchell with a shake. Gauze sets up a three ball. His second, he's got it. He's got five points. 